With winter finally over, many people are expressing their gratitude at the return of more sunlight and vitamin D. Especially when you work indoors, you can go days without seeing sun in the winter, so it can be very difficult to get enough vitamin D in your diet. After consulting a panel of doctors, dietitians, and wellness experts, we found out what really happens when your levels are low. What is vitamin D? First off, what is vitamin D and why does it matter? According to Dr. Scott Schreiber, a chiropractic physician double board certified in rehabilitation and clinical nutrition, vitamin D does much more than we used to think. He told the list, traditionally, vitamin D was thought of as a bone-building vitamin, but current research has it shown to be involved in much, much more. Every cell in the body has vitamin D receptors. Sounds important, right? It is, which is what makes it so shocking that many people aren't getting enough. According to Dr. Schreiber, vitamin D deficiency impacts over 80% of the population. So how might you know if you're one of the over 80% affected? Dr. Lisa Ash, the medical director of the Be Well Medical Group, cautions that it isn't always so easy to tell. She told us, Many people have no symptoms, or they are so subtle that they're unaware until they receive the results of blood testing at the doctor. Moody Blues Dr. Schreiber also told us that vitamin D is responsible for activating genes that regulate neurotransmitters, and that these directly affect brain function and development. It's no surprise, then, that low vitamin D has been linked to depression, particularly seasonal affective disorder that is experienced in the winter months when there is less sunlight. Dr. Schreiber says, There have been several studies showing that as vitamin D levels decrease due to less time outside, depression increases. The lower vitamin D goes, the worse depression becomes. Have no fear, though. Dr. Schreiber said that vitamin D supplementation has been shown to relieve depression symptoms. Digestion Woes The International Foundation for Functional Gastrointestinal Disorders states that Irritable Bowel Syndrome, or IBS, is a digestive disorder that affects between 25 and 45 million people in the United States, with 67% of those being female. What does diarrhea, constipation, and abdominal pain have to do with vitamin D? Well, according to a study published in the Journal of Neurogastroenterology and Motility, high vitamin D supplementation can also reduce the symptoms of IBS. You can add your digestive tract to the list of things you never thought would be affected by how much sunlight you get. Sick day after day If you always seem to be sick no matter what precautions you take, or your illnesses seem to linger longer than they do in other people, you may have low vitamin D. Dr. Schreiber says, Vitamin D has been shown to increase the ability of T-cells to fight infection. Claudia Mattles, a wellness coach who often sees clients low in vitamin D, agreed, adding that significant deficiency could play a role in type 2 diabetes, hypertension, asthma in children, cardiovascular disease, and even multiple sclerosis and cancer. If you just can't seem to kick that cold after several weeks, ask your doctor to test your vitamin D levels. Achy Bones Medical director of the Crozier Clinic and author of the best-selling book Healing One Cell at a Time, Dr. Gordon Crozier is a leader in the field of integrative medicine. He told The List that in addition to making you more prone to infections and viruses, low vitamin D may cause bone and muscle pain, chronic fatigue, and hair loss. He added that low levels of vitamin D can even mimic fibromyalgia symptoms. According to the Vitamin D Council, there is mixed evidence about whether true fibromyalgia and low vitamin D may be linked causally. However, vitamin D has been used to treat fibromyalgia pain and may help reduce symptoms. In a fog Varda Myers Epstein has suffered from chronic vitamin D deficiency for 20 years and told us that the biggest issue for her is brain fog. She says, When it's bad, my brain goes foggy and it becomes a real struggle to follow a recipe or do my job. To add insult to injury, forgetfulness is also a symptom of brain fog, making it all the more difficult for her to remember to take her vitamin D supplement. Unfortunately, this isn't uncommon. Low levels of vitamin D have been linked to cognitive impairment in several studies, so what Epstein describes may apply to you, too. She says, It's difficult to describe the brain fog, like I'm underwater or not quite awake, like I need coffee but no matter how much I drink, I can't wake up. Energy Down Registered dietitian Jillian Barkume told us that the most overlooked symptom of low vitamin D is fatigue. She says, Even modestly low levels of vitamin D can have a negative impact on energy levels. We often blame tiredness on other things, such as demanding schedules, rather than considering low vitamin D levels. Luckily, this is a fairly easy fix. A recent study published in the Journal of Medicine showed that supplementing with vitamin D significantly decreased fatigue compared to placebo, and that the greater the amount of vitamin D, the more improvement researchers and participants saw. 
This may also explain why we have more energy in the summer and feel a bit lazier in the winter. Who knew? Prego! Oh no! Sonographer Nancy He, who owns Baby Glimpse, a 3D, 4D ultrasound center in Australia, told The List she has witnessed complications in pregnancy and in newborns because of low vitamin D. She says unborn babies derive their vitamin D directly from their mother's reserve. For pregnant women, vitamin D deficiency has been linked to complications such as preeclampsia, low birth weight, and gestational diabetes. She recommends that most pregnant women should take vitamin D supplements, after consulting with their doctor, of course. Who's at risk? While all of the experts we spoke with emphasize that low vitamin D is a common issue worldwide, there are some factors that can put you at greater risk of low vitamin D levels. Since the body makes vitamin D when exposed to sunlight, dietitian Jillian Barkhume told us that the following factors may contribute to the problem. She says you're homebound, live in northern latitudes, wear clothing that covers your skin, or have a job that limits sun exposure. Dr. Ash added that following a vegan diet can also contribute to vitamin D deficiency. She explains that this kind of diet lacks the types of food where vitamin D naturally occurs. Fish, fish oil, eggs, and milk are all vitamin D-rich foods, but obviously not welcome on a vegan diet. How to treat If you have low levels of vitamin D, you can treat it through diet and supplements, as well as getting more sun exposure. Registered dietitian Rachel Begun, who is also a spokesperson for Sundown Naturals Vitamins, told us it's always best to maximize nutrient levels through food first. She adds that some conditions like celiac disease, Crohn's disease, and cystic fibrosis can make it even more difficult to absorb vitamin D from food. She says, if diet isn't enough, talk with your doctor about whether it makes sense to take a vitamin D supplement, and if so, at what dose. While some may be able to get by feasting on oily fish or taking an over-the-counter vitamin D supplement, others may require an extra boost from your doctor with something a little more powerful. If the 80% can be more preventative when it comes to our vitamin D levels, we can all have our day in the sun. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.